Today you're talking about belly fat, right? And, and it's about the 40 plus belly fat, but it's not just about those extra pounds that you can be packing on, but they can also hide some very serious health risks, right? Well, it's a very soulful show for a lot of women, but uh, they bear not just uh, their feelings, but also their bellies in the show. And I listen, I know a lot of folks walking around, uh, you know, in Cleveland are not looking at their bellies. They're embarrassed by it. They're ashamed of their bellies. They won't look in the mirror. We want to get past that. That's why I want women to bear their bellies so that they can say, listen, it's out there. I got to get past it. Uh, and I got to embrace that demon and I can defeat it. And the reality is, as a doctor, I'm not so worried about what you look like. I'm much more worried about what that belly fat's doing to you. It's destroying your cholesterol. It's raising your blood pressure. It's uh, giving you diabetes. And part of the, the wake-up call for a lot of folks about belly fat is that it's a reflection of how you're coping with the world around you. It's basically a civil war inside your body, and you've got to recognize that and deal with it. So in today's show, uh, in addition to hearing these incredible emotional stories about how folks are trying to cope with their bellies, we're going to talk about some very concrete things you can do in your life today that will get rid of that belly fat once and for all. Can that belly fat hide some serious issues like cancer and heart disease? I mean, it's not just an aesthetic look of having the extra pounds around your belly. Tracy, the big reality is that for a lot of women, uh, it is the number one thing they can do to prevent cancer is get rid of that belly fat because that fat comes alive and it stimulates hormones that can cause cancer. Uh, it's the number one thing you can do for your blood pressure, number one thing you can do for your blood cholesterol, best way to get rid of diabetes, which you can almost always uh, help if you can lose some of that belly fat. I mean, it's hugely in your control. Uh, and when folks recognize that, they're going to say, heck, I don't care what I look like anymore. Uh, I, I'm going to go fix this belly fat for my medical reasons. And if you combine those two causes together and you realize that if you can control control the stress in your life, you can get rid of the belly fat, you'll do it. So you're going to give us some tips on today's show about how to control it? It's very concrete tips about how to get rid of the belly fat and some, some very clear foods that can help you as well. In fact, the whole season is about that. It's about connecting with you emotionally so you understand why it's important and then following up with things you can do in your life. None of the stuff I'm talking about is esoteric or about someone else. It's about you. If you can understand it and apply it to your life and to the lives of people you love, you'll make your health better. That's the campaign all year long. Well, and you some have some, must have some very uh, brave viewers to be bearing their guts with you this afternoon. Well, they're brave and they're trusting, and I must say, in the beginning, many were reticent, but as you saw, the camaraderie grow among the women. They all realized they were in this together. Slowly but surely, every single woman in the audience bared her, her belly. And again, they did it to be brave to go first, but it's a call out for everybody at home to do the exact same thing. Look at your belly, realize it's there, don't like it, recognize that you got to beat it, and then move on. Uh, something that's coming up later in the week, arsenic and apple juice, is that right? A lot of parents feed their ki give their kids apple juice to drink. A lot of adults, I was talking to some people here in the newsroom that drink apple juice, but now it, it can be dangerous? Well, apple juice is found in, in a lot of our foods, even if you don't think you're drinking apple juice. It's in there as a mixture. And the problem is that a lot of the apples and apple juice come from overseas, where arsenic is, in, is in, in, included in some of the pesticides that are used. So it turns out that there is arsenic. We did our own independent, big investigation nationwide to try to identify this, because uh, we'd heard of some sporadic reports. It is true. There is arsenic in our apple juice. Uh, the real goal, goal for us is to get folks to realize that you have a right to know I want you to appreciate that it's out there, and then we can make a difference. There are things you can uh, look for that can I warn you if there's arsenic in the apple juice. Uh, very clear little tips that we can give to you uh, so you can buy products that are safe for you. And that's what the show is going to be out on Wednesday. But the real call to action is to get the companies that are buying apples from overseas to start monitoring how much arsenic is in there. Otherwise, you cannot be sure. Absolutely. And I'm sure a lot of people will be surprised to hear that, that that's in your apple juice. You just don't think of that. Yeah, I, I tell you, there were some very, very upset people in the audience when we made these announcements. Again, we did our homework, spent a lot of time trying to figure this out. And I do think we'll get people to come around, the, the, the Food and Drug Administration companies. I mean, people don't want to poison kids and adults in America. But if you get sloppy about this stuff, and if you don't know, it can come up on you. So let's, let's, let's bond together and make this change happen. Absolutely. Okay, Dr. Oz, thanks very much. We're going to talk with you a little bit later on, live on 5. Have a good day. Stay well, Tracy. Take care.